Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Thursday, April 13th, 2023, and we are back uh, with our NHL best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit the notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post NHL videos every single day along the NBA and MLB. Uh, right now, there's, by the way, for today, there's no NBA games on today, so there's not going to be an NBA video. However, we do have an MLB video that's out right now, so definitely check that out. We've won six of our last seven days in the MLB. We've, we're on a six and one run the last two days, pretty strong. Uh, we're going after our first 5,000 subscribers, so I'm really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together day. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, we had a winning day overall as far as units go. We went one and one. Our best bet was the over five and a half in the Canadians and Islanders. We got a win there. And with the over six and a half in the Flames and Sharks, that was an L. Uh, we went one and one yesterday. But overall, we were up 7.92 units for the year. We only started betting NHL um, the end of February. Um, so overall, we would have liked to have a little bit better on the units. But honestly, we're profitable. Um, and we started midway through the year. Um, and if we have any guys, if we haven't made you money in the NHL, NBA, college basketball, and MLB, become a member at zdmbets.com slash picks. As a member, you support the channel, you support me, but more importantly, you get our picks early in the day, so that, that will help you make a ton more money before the line movement shift. Like that makes a big, big deal when it comes to profitability. Also, all of our all of our added plays that we do are texted straight to you, so you never miss those. And you have a direct line to me. So basically the number that sends you these picks, you can reach out to about any game you're considering betting, um, and you'll get a guaranteed response from me as long as you send it an hour, hour and a half for game time. That way I can actually look at the games and give like an actual like um, educated response. Um, and we, our members yesterday took a huge advantage of that. And I think we only lost like one out of like the nine messages we got. So we were like eight and one yesterday on the ad on the, on the questions. Um, the website, by the way, is linked in the comments below. So definitely check that out. Um, we have five picks in the NHL. We have a loaded slate right before the playoffs start. I'm not going to do any best bets. These are all just straight bets. I mean, they're all, they're always straight bets, but I'm not changing the units on any of these. So first off, we're going to Hurricanes money line minus 108 versus the Panthers. Zach, the Panthers are more desperate. They're also a fraudulent team that doesn't play defense and they're a soft team. They're very similar to the Capitals in like 2007 or something like that, where they're like, they're, they're fast, they're high flying, but damn, they're fraudulent. And I think the Hurricanes go in there, they out tough them and they win. Next, we have the Senators plus 108 versus the Sabres. I think the Senators are a far better team and you get them at plus money. The Sabres have shown they have no ability to stop anybody. They have no ability to play defense and the Senators are a high flying, high scoring team. This game could go over, but I like the Senators here to win plus 108. So this game being like a 4-2, 5-3 type game uh, where they win pretty comfortably. Next, I have the Predators money line minus 113 versus the Wild. Both these teams to me seem very, very evenly matched. Um, the, the, the Predators are at home. In this case, when people are at home, the tiebreaker for me is, are they playing at home? And I think the Nashville home ice advantage is a really big deal for them in this one. Uh, so I like the Predators here, money line minus 113. Plus the sharp money is all over the Predators here, and I'm rolling with that too. Next, we have the over six and a half in the Oilers and Sharks game. Uh, this is a system play for me. Uh, the Oilers go over 60% of the time for the year. I think they go over here as well. The Sharks score a lot. The Oilers score a lot. The Oilers don't have a very strong back end. I like the Oilers here at over six and a half here. So uh, Oilers and Sharks, excuse me, over six and a half. Next, we have the Flyers money line minus 115 versus the Blackhawks. Let me just tell you something right now. This is the team. This is like the battle of like the, the battle of trash. Both these teams are absolutely terrible. Um, both these teams are probably going to be picking the top two, top three in the NHL. I have to look at the bottom half of the standings. But these teams are trash, but the Flyers are slightly better than the Blackhawks. In fact, they're favored on the road against the Blackhawks. really shows how far uh, this Blackhawks team has fallen. I like the Flyers here, money line minus 115 versus the Blackhawks there. The Blackhawks are absolute trash. So are the Flyers, but I think they're slightly less. the Flyers are slightly less trash than the Blackhawks are. So a quick recap, what we have, we have the Hurricanes money line minus 108 versus the Panthers. We have the Senators money line plus 108 versus the Sabres. Predators money line uh, minus 113 versus the Wild. We have the over six and a half, the Oilers and Sharks. We have the Flyers money line minus 115 versus the Blackhawks. So let's go lock in those picks, y'all. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money and we'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure y'all check out those other videos.